Hey guys, I'm doing a makeup tutorial. I did a video, but I deleted it from the dumb shit that did that. I'm just gonna basically do a recall of it. Basically, for skin, I did BB cream. Um, I did this, which is the Halloween makeup thing, and this. If you're gonna use this, uh, you might want to have some pretty damn light skin, so. Yeah, I'm just gonna redo my eyebrows. Sorry, I don't have any eyebrows, so I have to do this every day. Yeah, it's now so mention that I don't have any eyelashes. Donate to the crop sorrows. Just kidding. <laughs> Basically, I'm just going to do my eyebrows and few, basically little stuff. Do not expect me to be good at makeup, just so you know. I know where all y'all live. It's called the internet, bitches. I'm just kidding. Okay. I'm sure all you are very beautiful, beautiful trolls and giants and... Basically that, I'm just pissed I have to do this all over again, and I don't want to look like, um, and from, what's, what's it called? It's a good not life for us, that, wherever that comes from. Yep, I did that, did that, yep, yep, yep. Put on the gloss. I'm pretty sure I just fucking lost the eyebrow stuff out good. Bitch, I just had it. I'm bad at loose. I lose stuff a lot. If you're one of my close friends, you will know that and you love me for it. Don't judge. I lose things a lot. I have this little tiny, basically little stick kind of thing that really does eyebrows good. But shit, I lost it. This is my backup. I have eyebrow um, stencils, but shit, that stuff doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Sorry, I forgot people are what? Art shake. Even though I have a big old fucking camera right in my face. It's just kind of a bitch. I ain't gonna start planning before I do all this dumb shit. Ugh, I'm worried about it. I just went and had it. Oh my gosh. Hold on. We shall go on a break for one fucking second because I'm stupid ass. Lost it. We are back. I decided not to use it. I will just use this freaking. Uh, I forgot what it's called. I'll just use a damn Q tip screw this. Okay. So I can't even see. <sighs> I really. Okay, do with that part now. Let's just get to eyeshadow because I'm really getting tired. I I'm excited to do it, but at first I deleted the twenty freaking minute theme of Bob and now it's all gone. I was trying to put it onto YouTube but I forgot. I deleted it. I'm such a dumbass, I swear. It was supposed to be a vampire tutorial on how to look. 
it by just such a shitty job. Basically, you take this, put the white stuff on it. So this is truly a freaking Rolanda video. Comment below if you think this is a better makeup tutorial than Rolanda's. <laughs> you know what the funny shit is? I never post this on fucking YouTube or anything, yet I still do it. This is probably just a reason for me to stay up longer. On school in the morning, it's so tough. It's so boring. All I do is sit by myself. Oh, and sorry, carry my friend's backpack. That's so fucking exciting. Yeah, basically, that's what all I do at school is learn, see your shit. Basically, eighth grade, we learn high school stuff already. Yeah, I literally, we're just going into. Oh, I forgot. I'm forgetting everything today. It's so bitch. Did I put it in that box? What did I do with it? Oh, did I put it in here? Son of a bitch. It's better get views for when I'm going through people. You guys don't understand me. You guys don't love me. Oh, it was right under my leg. <laughs> Son of a sea brisket. Found it. Tee hee hee. I just annoyed the shit out of myself. My grandma says start from the bridge and I'm like, really? You're gonna tell me that? You hardly have any yourself? You do it all the way you do your big old fucking unibrow? I'm like, you wanna tell me that, really? I just get pissed at my grandma so much. Love her, but she seriously gets on my nerves. She's like, you use the wrong shade of white. Go get me some cinnamon. I said, what kind of cinnamon? She's like, the red cinnamon. And I'm like, there is only one kind of red. She's like, the cinnamon. I hand her the, um, I hand her the red fabric. She's like, cinnamon. And I'm like, what the fuck? It's red. Cinnamon is red, isn't it? She's like, yes. And I said, then here you go. And I threw all the fabric out of her. I'm like, there's your cinnamon. I seriously got pissed that night. I'm like, the fuck? You want me to get you cinnamon? Go get your cinnamon up a guy's ass. No, I'm just kidding. I would never tell my grandma that. I love her too much. Even though she irritates the crap out of me sometimes. Even though I can't even fucking do it. This is damn ridiculous. I, you guys know me. I'm sorry. I might come off like a bitch right now. I'm being mean. I'm just tired. I'm sick. Literally, I got a request for it on one of my videos, and I want to carry out my videos. I'm not. I'm like, I don't even know how I do this sometimes. Nobody even watches my videos. So I'm to the point. You know, you want to know what somebody's saying? Can you please do a makeup tutorial? And I'm like. Fine. Do you have five dollars? She put no. And I said then, sorry, I can't. And then, um, she stopped commenting. It was funny. And now for the eyeliner. Don't get all mad at me. I'm not using eyeliner, actually. I'm just basically using eyeshadow. Always wet it, because it works the best. Take it under your eye like this.
yeah. Get this ready. Hee <laughs> hee 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 hee. Tomorrow's Monday. Ugh. I'm so excited for school. Who can't wait for school? You like school and you're so messed up. My brother likes school and I'm like, I'm like, excuse me, have you ever been to school? He's like, I'm starting school tomorrow and I'm like, oh really? Come back to me in a few days after you've been going to school for a oh, what? Sorry, um, let me put it sweetly. I've been going to school for, hmm, let's just say... Hmm. Eight, nine, ten years. I'm going into high school literally um, three months. And I'm like, bitch, you have never been to school yet. You're saying you love school. I seriously hate fakers. I'm like, he's seven years old. And I'm like, bitch, you'll find out. You'll find out. Just don't come cry to me when somebody pushes you off the side and they take your grand crackers. i <laughs> Actually, he'll probably still be in school by the time somebody tries to steal his damn fruit snacks. I'm like, sorry, D. Somebody stole your fruit snacks. I told you, you said school was awesome. That's your karma. Even the most smartest people hate school. I'm serious. I don't even see why we need school. Well, a lot of people are smart. I get they want to go bored. But after a while, you'll just hate it. I, I should have said this in a freaking talk show about my life. Sorry, I don't want to bore you. With my life, basically. The so-called life that I say I have. I don't have a life. Speaking of that, my mom says I don't have a life. She owns my life. And I'm like, I'm like, excuse me? She's like, she's like, you don't have a life. And I said, yes, I do, woman. I said, I don't know who the fuck you are. But you do not own me, woman. It says so right in the Bible that God owns us. Only God. And the only person that does own me is God, not her. She does not own me. She does not. She doesn't own me. Let's just put it that way. She will not own me. She does not. Who I am. She did. <laughs> yeah. Basically, I'm like, excuse me. You think you own me? Really? Look at yourself. You hardly even own your own life. And yet she's trying to say she owns me. I'm like, Mom, I hate to say it, but yeah, you don't control my life, Mom. God does. I just get pissed when people say they um, own my life. Cause it's like, my dad, he thinks he can discipline me. And I'm like, excuse me, bitch, you've been gone most of my life. He, okay, here's what happened. We're on the bouncer. Me and my brother, he calls me faggot. I said, he calls me, um, sloth or some shit. And I'm like, I said, really? Really faggot? And my cousin taught me that word. I'm like, what does that word mean? And boom, I call him that. And he, my dad, like, go pick out a hanger. And I'm like, I'm like, Fine by me, bitch. I'll go pick out a hanger. It'll be really pretty. Hit you in the face with. <laughs> Anyways, I go pick out a hanger. And my aunt is like, um, go tell her my brother sorry. And I'm like, Pfft. I'm like, fine. Only not to get hit with the belt. Like, so I can leave this little shit and get out of here. He <laughs> thinks he can spank me. Ah, my eyebrows too big. Okay, well. Too late to go back. Anyways, he thinks he can speak with the hair, and I'm like, whoa, whoa, bitch, whoa. You do not control me. You 
have even been around. Like, seriously, he hasn't been around whatsoever. And this little bitch thinks he can come walking up, speaking my ass with a hanger. I'm like, ooh, I seriously want to tell him. But he's like, seriously, he's like, messed up or something. I don't know. He comes and waltzing up like a newborn draft. Saying, go pick out a hanger. And I'm like, fool, you go pick out a hanger. You go pick out a damn hanger. I'm like, you and your little, um, your little hoe, you guys go pick out a hanger and I'll, and I'll drag you by your ass on the front lawn and whoop your ass in front of the neighbors. I'm like, I don't care. I'll embarrass you. I'll embarrass you inside of Walmart. I'll say that you, um, rape me or some shit. Sorry, people, that's happened to. No hard feelings. But anyways, I'll scream in the parking lot saying, They're not gonna rape me! Somebody help me! I'll scream in the parking lot. Let his ass get arrested. A few years later, he's out of jail. I'm like, see bitch, you mess with the wrong cut. I'm serious. This guy, my dad, he thinks he fucking zo owes me. And I'm like, excuse me, you do not own me. You do not know who I am. You've never been around. You think you can just waltz up saying, get your bitch ass in the car. I'm going to whoop you with a hanger. I'm like, no, excuse me, bitch. Go get your ass in the car. It will drive all the way up to AMPM. Basically, where uh, one of my family members works at. I'll drive all the way up to AMPM. Speak his ass in front of his wife. Which I hate. I hate my stepmom. If you work at Burlington and you know Laura Vera, yeah, she's my stepmom. So, anyways, I just dislike her. If any of your parents work at Burlington, if any of your parents work at Burlington and Palmdale, California, or Lancaster, and Laura's the manager there, go tell her. Uh, go tell her. Hi, this is from Destiny. Basically, she's jealous because my mom and my dad had me first before they even got married. I was two when it happened. So, her bitch ass is jealous. Like, she thinks I want a sexual relationship with my dad. And I'm like, bitch, did you get molested or something? Shit. He's my father, not my, um, not my hoe or something. And seriously, she thinks it's like a freaking competition. And I'm like, fine, bitch, I don't care, you have it. He's gonna screw you over anyway soon. He'll be with all his little tiny hoes. They kick you in the ass, goodbye. Seriously, I walked it out of them <laughs> once. It was funny. It was like two walruses going at it. And I'm like, the fuck? It's like... Bitches, lock your door. Do you want somebody walking in? Anyways, this is the result of the week. Oh, son of a bitch. Hold on. I'm gonna go. Let me just get the lamp. Son of a bitch. Did I turn this around? What did I do? I'm surprised it turned out really good. Anyways, um, yeah, this little, my stepmom, she basically is the manager of Burlington, and she's a complete bitch. Basically, 
my um one of my mom's friends, she worked at Burlington. She worked at Burlington and basically she quit because my stepmom was such a bad manager. So anyways, if you ever go to Burlington in Palmdale, California or Lancaster, tell um Laura Vera, ask to speak to the manager and say, This is from Destiny. I do not want anything to do with you or my father. Got it? I'm just saying, if you do, you don't have to. But it'd be, it'd mean a lot to me. Anyways. Yeah, she just thinks I want, like, a sexual relationship with my dad or something. That's how she wants it to be. Like, she basically wants me to compete with my dad. My dad, let me remind you, my dad, for his attention, this is the thing, I don't give a crap, I care less, 